The world's first beer brewed with the help of artificial intelligence is on sale in the UK. Four beers have been created, with each recipe altered based on the customer feedback through a mobile app. Bloomberg's Adam Satariano went to find out, well, if machines can really brew a really great beer. <laughs> How do you like your beer? Happy? Bitter? Dark? Brewers for hundreds of years have been trying to find the perfect recipe. But could it be computers can do it better? We were just talking over beer about how can we use data more constructively than we were looking at our beers and we just thought, hang on a minute, it's staring right in front of us. That's Hugh. His epiphany led him and his friend to develop an algorithm that turns customer feedback into better beer. The process goes something like this. A website printed on the back of the bottles directs drinkers to a survey that asks them a bunch of questions about their taste preferences. The AI bit comes next. That data, it just goes into our reinforcement learning algorithm, uh, which is called ABI, mm. which stands for Automated Brewing Intelligence. Uh, and then the algorithm essentially takes all this information and then comes up with a recipe and gives the brewer a recipe. Enter the very human brewer, who acts as a last line of defense if the AI goes rogue. And most of the time, it is, it is bang on. Most of the time, it can be something that actually is brewed. It will every once in a while throw us a completely random thing at us. Some of it is just not possible. Um, but that's where there is that still have that kind of human aspect to it. Humans brew the beer <laughs> and drink it too. It's kind of like seawater with cranberries. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's very nice. You, yeah, it's... If you use an algorithm, I think the point is, won't it come out tasting in the middle of the Road. It was obviously not going for the average. I'm liking it more anymore. and more than I drink it. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm... Customer feedback. It can be fickle. But the technology points to a future of tailoring products to the people who use them. There you go, I've done it. I'm part of something. In the future, this same technique could be used for other highly emotive products. So think coffee, chocolate. The one I really like is perfume. So get ready. In the not too distant future, you could be able to give your feedback on just about anything for what that's worth. Ha, 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 ha,